What's up everybody? So today I wanted to do a video for those that might be moving to Pensacola, live in Pensacola, or just looking for a place to fish. And I wanted to talk about the top fishing piers on the Gulf Coast. I'm talking about from Gulf Shores all the way to Panama City Beach. So we got Panama City Pier, we got Okaloosa Walton Pier, we got the Navarre Pier, we got Pensacola Pier, we got the Fort, Fort, uh, Fort uh, Pickens. Fort Pickens Pier, and then we got Gulf Shores. Gulf Shores. Gulf Shores. So those are the options we're gonna talk about in this video. So if you're just passing through, just wanting to get in fishing, you kind of know where to start. If you're a tourist, whatnot, and I got the most pure fishing expert on the planet right here to tell us what you should do. Not quite the most, you know, I do pier fish quite a bit. I did grow up pier fishing all the piers. Yeah, so I know his, a little his dad has a My lifetime locker at the Okaloosa Walton Pier. So, and he's a legend. Yeah, so like that's as good as I can get right now, okay? So here we go, let's get started. All right, so we uh, have been doing some videos on the piers. Brand's done a lot of uh, pier fishing videos on his channel, Angler Up with Brant, go check those out. Um, we've talked about the tarpon runs. We've talked about, you know, the king mackerel when they come through, the cobia, all the big fish, Spanish mackerel, pompano. A lot of people like to surf fish pompano. So the piers allow you to really get to those exotic species, getting out there into the blue water and then working your way all the way back to shore. They're beautiful to walk on. One of the, the coolest things I like to do is when a hurricane comes in, go out to the pier and watch the surfers because yeah. it really allows you to see everything up and down the beach. It's beautiful during the day. The water is like emerald crystal clear and you can see the fish just coming and going and it's pretty cool. Eating raw fish. Yeah. And dude, you're throwing blood everywhere. What is happening right now? Getting those pants. Are you stand. nervous? Tell us what you uh, what you think is the things they need to know. Which pier is your favorite? Starting gotcha. from the top, and we'll just work our way down. Yeah. So I've done quite a bit of pier fishing growing up. That's where I learned to fish on Navarre Pier, actually. And uh, you know, first thing, the pier is not just for fishing. Yeah. You can pay one dollar yep. to go out there and spectate and uh you know see the see the sights pretty cool just be careful don't get hit in the head but i got you plugged yeah they get, they get serious yeah, i mean they, sometimes you need helmets out they, there they absolutely take it seriously yeah. out there so uh, i would say uh, you know let, let's just start pier by pier uh we can uh start with uh let's start with panama city mm -hmm. okay obviously panama city is a big tourist destination 30a that's 30a, 30A. area uh, they actually have two piers in panama city the city pier and the county Pier, both oh, wow. are very close together. Both are really good fishing. Panama City tends to have the best pompano pier on the Gulf Coast. So they're I didn't know that. they're right now catching yeah. 150 plus pompano what? a day. Uh, they're doing really well. They also tend to catch the most school kings of any. And what I call a school king is a king that you, anywhere in that like eight to ten pound range throughout the summer. They have you know 100, 200 king days on that pier. Wow. Uh, and so it is. You, you're going to find some action out there. It's a uh, uh, yeah. We try to take one or two trips down there a year, and, and we really enjoy Panama City. So. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, for us both being real estate agents here <laughs> in Pensacola Gulf Coast area. Um, you know, the 30A mark is super hot all the way down the beach here at Pensacola Gulf Shores. So if you're, if you're cruising through and you need to buy a property, description box below, we'll put our emails and you can just let us know if you uh, are wanting to buy a property down here. So let's move on to, we got Navarre next. Okaloosa. Is Okaloosa, we got Okaloosa. Yeah. And we've done two, three big videos down there. And I've done a bunch, I did a bunch yeah. last year. The tarpon run is amazing. You'll go out there, they'll be hooking 70 tarpon a day out there. The biggest, most majestic so, creatures yeah. you'll ever see. Okaloosa is most famous for its tarpon fishing. Yeah. yeah, they do catch a bunch of kings. What's unique about that pier is Panama City Pier, you can catch a, a lot of times in the summer, you can catch kings all day long. But Okaloosa, you got to get there at like 4 a.m. And a lot of times the kings will only bite for like the first two hours from like four to yeah. six before, day, before daylight and then they stop. Uh, now we've had some decent days out there, but uh, we primarily fish that pier for tarpon. Yeah, I tell you, like, you need to watch the videos. I'll link them here or down here. They look like a herd of cows coming through. <laughs> I mean, it's just hundreds coming down the beach. They're huge and they follow those big bait balls. But, you know, the water is amazing there. You know, Destin, Fort Walton Beach, that area is just 
majestic. Um, so if you're touring, touristing there, or you're coming through, or you're moving there, or you live there, like that that pier, there's a reason why his dad has a locker there, because it, it's a culture, it's really cool. Uh, but if you're new to pier fishing, just know there is an etiquette to the pier. Know, uh, you know, the end of the pier, like those are where the guys have been doing it a long time, and there's a set of rules on what you can and can't do. You know, they call out the fish, and they move up and down the pier when they hook up, and you kind of like, you know, just got to get the lay of the land. That is something to bring up because yeah. we we uh, we get a ton of comments on our pier videos and you know Matt Bama Beach Bum just made a pier video where he was running down the pier chasing a school of jacks. I've made pier videos where I've hooked tarpon and have to follow my fish. Mm -hmm. and you always get people that comment and they're like wow I can't believe you're running through other fishermen like that that is actually it would actually be improper etiquette if you did not follow your fish down the pier because what that fish is going to do he's going to go sideways and if you don't follow your fish down the pier he's going to tangle everybody's line so you got to yeah. go in and out in, in it's your, like a wrecking ball it is uh, <laughs> what it, it, it's chaos but it is controlled chaos out yeah. there so if you see us weaving in and out, uh, out of anglers that is what people that's what you're supposed to do on these piers on the coast when you hang a big fish you control your fish and you the locals will yell at you control your fish yeah and so that's the reason it's funny we get so many comments it's like people want to see us sit in one spot while our tarpon runs that way or cobia runs that way yeah that ain't what you're supposed to do yeah sometimes. and sometimes they have little yellow lines all the way around the edge of the pier where you got to stay in front of or behind the mm -hmm. lines so you don't get hit with the the, the hooks being slung and everything. It's definitely an interesting place to even it's, just go watch. It's the best bait pier too. Yeah. If you want to yeah. catch bait, there, there's more bait around that pier than any of the other piers. Yeah, so moving down to Navarre Pier, mm -hmm. which I've fished in a kayak off of the pier a lot. And we've caught some tarpon off the snorkel reefs there. And uh, it's, it's a good place to just go and snorkel. The water is amazing, but it's like one of the quickest to deep water. Like, as a kayak fisherman, you can get to 50, 60, 70 yeah. feet within a mile of the it's beach. It's an interesting pier. Navarre, yeah. in my opinion, has the best and most serious fishermen. Really? Yeah. You're going to see some guys out there that have been doing it, you know, since for the last 40 years. And they're extremely talented fishermen. And, you know, they're very serious about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and it could be a good pier, you know. Yeah. I mean, on any given day... You can uh, you catch a lot of king mackerel out there, tarpon, cobia. Uh, one thing that was fascinating this winter is they had an insane blackfin tuna run out there. Every morning they were catching blackfin tuna. Wow. So I like, and, I, and that's pretty awesome when you can catch a blackfin mm -hmm. tuna just by walking out on a pier. Like these things are one of my favorite. I would eat their throat if I caught one. Yeah. Okay, like right there, sashimi them up right there on the pier and eat it with some soy sauce on a cracker. And you know, like, you know, fishing from a kayak, you know, you can pretty much just just keep paddling or paddling around the outskirts of the pier and catch some pretty exotic species, you know, and, uh, but don't get too close to any of these piers in a boat or a kayak or you might catch a COVID. Yeah, okay? definitely. If you're swimming, Serious. stay away from the pier. Yeah, surfing. The, the locals don't like it and mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to catch a weight upside your head. Yeah. Um, but if you're out there fishing and you're a tourist, and, you know, don't feel like, feel like you have to feel uncomfortable. Just use some common sense. Just, mm -hmm. you know, get you a spot, stay away from, you know, other people and, uh, you know, just use a little common sense. Yeah. That's all. It, it, that's it. It's, it's pretty simple. So. And there's a couple of bars at the bases of these beach or of these piers. You know, usually you can get something to eat. You know, uh, sometimes they have a gift shop like the Pensacola Pier, which we're moving to now. Let's talk about mm -hmm. the Pensacola Pier. There's Casino Beach Casino Bar. Casino Beach Bar has some good food. And then there another one upstairs. Yeah, now. that's uh, uh, what is the now that's actually the one upstairs is uh, is actually a, a pretty high class restaurant. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 solid. And then you've man. got the pier, and then the, then there's a gift shop right mm -hmm. there in the pier. But um, it, Pensacola Pier is the Drift, one, I believe. Drift. I think so. It's one of the ones that we do a lot because it's right here, about 15 minutes from our office right here. I've fished a lot. Of, I've done a it's lot of It's my cotton. least favorite beer. Is it? Yeah. It's pretty shallow, isn't it? Like, that so, real deep. Yeah, it, it's my least favorite of all of them just because um, the, it, it, we just don't catch as many fish on that pier as the other ones that we've already talked about. Um, 
probably my least favorite people on that pier too. <laughs> It's a beautiful walk though. It is a, be it is a beautiful walk. I will walk. say this, I was just about to say that, it is the best pier to spectate. Yeah. Because it has the best view of any other pier on the coast. Like if you want to just go to that area, the casino beach bar area, and like hang out, walk out on the pier, grab you a drink, eat, it's the best pier to do that. And yeah. they do catch fish on that pier. Yeah. But I tend, if I go pier fishing, I usually go to Panama City or Okaloosa or Navarre. And if you watch some of my early kayak fishing videos, my sole plan was to go to the pier, pull my kayak off the beach, stay just out of range of the cubia jigs, and just pedal back and forth. And it was always a good day. I'd catch a couple of kings, a couple of Spanish mm -hmm. mackerel. We hooked a tuna one day. That video is on my channel. Um, you know, you hook some tarpon. It, it's a it's a good little place to just kind of what we're trying to do is give you a starting point on where to fish the Gulf. You know, like kind of an idea of where do I even start. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it does cost some money to go out on the piers. I think they're like what eight or nine bucks. So seven fifty for Pensacola Pier, and that's pretty much par for the course along yeah. the. the Panhandle. So, you know, one dollar to walk out and spectate. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a good starting point. So let's move over to Gulf Shores and uh, oh, Fort Pickens. Excuse Fort me. Pickens would so be the, next. if you've watched my camping videos and he's done some surf fishing videos out there, uh, you can see that Fort Pickens National Park is one of the prettiest parks in the state of Florida. It's I think it's like number pass. three. It's yeah, so the pass. Yeah, yeah, so the pier is at the pass all the way down at the end. Great with Sheephead. So the Fort Pickens Pier, it, it, it gets packed, okay? <laughs> I'm talking about shoulder to shoulder because they do catch a lot of sheep's head yeah. during March and April. I mean, they wear the sheep's head out, they wear the pompano out, and then the rest of the year they're slaying Spanish mackerel. They catch some kings off of it. They catch a lot of redfish. Like, you're going to see that pier shoulder to shoulder usually, and uh, it's a very short pier. It's the shortest pier out of all the piers we're going to talk about, and it's actually on the bay side which is unique all the other five piers that we talked about they're on the gulf side fort pickens piers on the bay side um but it can be a really uh cool fishing experience certain times of year very short walk out there mm -hmm. and uh they do catch a lot of fish so. yeah it's a beautiful place right there by the fort i mean you get to go through the fort you see like the the wall you know it's just also one of the top surfing spots for this part of the mm -hmm. state of florida right at uh, the point it's right at the i mean like if, if you have the gumption to go out there and the shark infested waters, which it is, it's great surfing, that and the pier. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, like we were saying about being close to the pier, on the right side of the Pensacola Pier is one of the top surfing destinations in this part of the state of Florida because you're able to get out there on the pier Break, kind of breaks the, 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 the wall of surf coming in and then you can surf back, so. And one thing that is different about the Fort Pickens than all the rest is you will have to pay 15 bucks to get out there. I think, yeah. I think it's $15. Yeah. Unless now, you're military. The, you have a... the difference is that $15 gets you out there for a whole year. You only yeah. have one time fee it gets you, or, or, or maybe it's $15 a day and it's a $30 pass, something yeah. like that, I think is yeah. what it is. So it's smarter to buy the $30 yeah. pass that lasts a whole year than the $15 a day. Yeah. I was wrong. That's and if you're a, a veteran with a disability from the VA, um, or a retired military, I think you can get a free uh, pass to all the national parks, which mm -hmm. gets you in. So just FYI on that. So let's move over to Gulf Shores so we can wrap the video up. Um, I've never fished the Gulf Shores Pier, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's interesting, man. You almost feel like you're fishing the bay because mm -hmm. you walk out on the pier and it's the least attractive from a visual standpoint. Like you might, you're gonna have a much better experience in my opinion at Pensacola, Perdita, Panama City, Navarre, that area, um, especially with like the restaurants and stuff. The water's the dirtiest at Gulf mm -hmm. Shores, but you walk out on the pier and you look around, there's like speckled trout and like redfish and flounder or like in the surf and you can like see them right when you walk out there. Wow. And so, it, it, the, that plus the water color, you almost feel like you're fishing the bay. Mm. And then they do get, you know, they'll get some kinks and they'll get some jacks and some bull reds. But here uh, is something interesting about that pier. Right now, 
it only goes halfway out and then it's closed because the rest of the pier got hit by I think Hurricane Sally uh -huh. and they have not repaired it yet so you can only fish half of the pier right wow. now so when you hang a big jack or a big king it usually goes straight out and like wraps your like around the front of the pier <laughs> yeah, it's a mess let's put it yeah. that way if it doesn't get eaten by a shark out there because there's thousands of them it's gonna wrap you around the front of the pier now wow. they do have a shark problem out there just about every good fish you hang at Gulf Shores Pier gets eaten by a shark and you are not allowed to target shark out there. You will get kicked off the pier for wow. targeting a shark. Wow. Well, it's kind of like when you fish these wrecks now, like the snapper ne never makes it back mm -hmm. down once you let, let him go because the, the sharks eat it. Well, it's funny. There's a problem on uh, like uh, with sharks there and then Okaloosa, it's porpoises, dolphins. Mm. So you can hardly get a king in at Okaloosa because of the dolphin. They steal every one of them and then it's sharks at Gulf Shores. Wow. So, yeah. Well, that's about all we know about the piers here as far as where you should start and kind of like, you know, the atmosphere that's involved. And uh, like I said, if you're moving here or buying or selling real estate here on the Gulf Coast, if it, whether it's Alabama or Florida, my email is down below. Check out Brant's channel, Angler Up with Brant. I'll link that down below. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video.